They killed my dog. This is how this is going to work. You're going to get a new partner, and then you're going to get back out there. What's up with him? Her. Jake. She's been known to snap. I know the feeling. Let's get that off you. jump <laughs> that was a preview of the movie muzzle that drops later this month on the 29th it's a gritty story about searching for the truth now we're here with kyle smithson now you're the executive producer and also an actor in this film now your hometown is nashville but this was actually set in la right it was set in la uh but we actually shot in louisville kentucky wow uh we made portland um right outside of louisville look like skid row in la so um and when you watch the movie it definitely you're in L.A. You're so, in L.A. Yeah. Wow. Talk about the premise of the movie, what it's all about. Yeah, so basically it's a canine officer. Aaron Eckhart is playing um, the canine officer. Um, he loses his partner, which is the dog, in it. And pretty much his hands are tied with politics and, you know, how the, the um, pre-scene is running everything. And he takes it on his own um, to go find the killers. And also he's dealing with a lot of in himself. So he finds out a lot about himself um, through the movie. It's an action thriller. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, it's just great. Wow, so what do, you Great hope, movie. Yeah, what do you hope that folks take away from this movie? Because it seems like there's a lot of messages in it. There mm -hmm. are a lot of messages. Um, definitely it's an interpretation of your own. It's art. Mm -hmm. So, you know, anything movie-wise, uh, music, um, art itself, um, you know, it's to the viewer, really. Mm -hmm. um, so I would like everybody to go see it and, you know, tell their own interpretation and hopefully it helps. But also it's giving back to the entertainment community going to see this too. You know, it helps the actors, it helps the directors, it helps the producers, um, it helps everybody, you know, a part of a film and in the entertainment industry. So. Mm. Now I want to talk about you, Nashville native. Mm -hmm. Now you, September is recovery month and I know yes. that you, we've talked about this, you've gone through your own challenges. You yeah. have faced homelessness at one point in your life. How did you go from, uh, you know, learning the recovery process and then going to, you know, a successful career? Um, it's hard. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I grew up um, in a well-to-do family. And then um, over the years, you know, got into the drugs and alcohol through, you know, um, how a lot of people do. Um, and it took me down a hard road for over 12 years. And, uh, you know, I was almost homeless. I lost everything. Um, but through friends and through hope and through faith in God, I, you know, came back with a vengeance. <laughs> um, but, you know, giving up the drugs and giving up the alcohol was extremely hard. It's still hard every day. But just knowing that, you know, there's something in front of me that is very positive, keeps me on track, um, and that I'm helping people now. Um, and just don't quit, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, follow your dream and don't let anybody tell you that you can't follow your dream. And one day you're going to succeed. That so. is Great. a beautiful thing. Congratulations Thank on you. that. You and I were t chatting earlier about you wear the executive producer hat. You're also an actor. Yeah. How do you find that balance? Uh, usually the executive producer role is usually, you know, a lot before pre-production, before the movie started, um, and, you know, putting together the movie. Once that is finished, you know, there's other people that kind of take that role on. So it allows me to become the actor that I need to be, um, jump into my role and be that. So it takes a whole team. So with an amazing team allows me to, you know, do my job as an actor after the fact. Okay, so you said where the film was uh, filmed. Um, can any can people drive and see these landmarks that are in the film? They can, yeah. Um, we shot in and around Portland um, and uh, Louisville. Yeah. Um, so there, um, I'll, I'll probably be putting pictures up after the movie's um, out um, of the places that we shot and things like that. So if you go to my socials, okay. you'll be able to not follow only that but the movie and our process and everything. See, that's so always cool. so cool to be able to go and see where you saw something in right. a film and think, oh my gosh, that's exactly where they shot. Speaking of films, what else is in the works? I know you've got to have other projects <laughs> on, on the horizon. Quite a bit. Um, so, of course, Muzzle um, hits theaters Friday, September the 29th. Uh, I've got a movie, uh, Bad Hombres, that hits theaters November the 17th. Um, it has Diego Tinoco in it as well. Um, he played in this movie as well. 
I've got, let's see, Land of Bad coming out in January. That's a movie I executive produced with uh, Russell Crowe and Liam Hemsworth. And then I've got one called The Beast in Me coming up. Also, my second one with Russell Crowe and Daniel McPherson. I'll be playing an actor in that as well. Um, but I also do local uh, music videos as well with Welltel Media. We just did a wonderful music video called Bend. Cody Hibbard's the artist, and it's about a... Uh, soldier coming home from war um, with PTSD mm -hmm. and how his wife and family um, get behind him and um, support him and things like that. I get to play the actor. Uh, my girlfriend Chelsea um, was actually the wife in the music video. So um, that's actually going to be on CMT coming up um, for a few weeks. We don't know the date yet, but again, follow my socials um, to find out. But uh, quite a bit in the works, and you know, my dream is finally coming true. Love so. to see awesome. the success after exactly. that. Thank you so, so Thank much. Thank you all very much. Friend. I appreciate it. You can catch Muzzle across the U.S. and streaming services, Amazon, um, later this month. That's September 29th, and they may be, uh, it may be showing in some local theaters. We'll, we'll find out. You'll have to follow his socials. Thank you so much.